Hi, I'm Rob. Hi, and I'm Katie. <laughs> Is that better? Yeah. Okay, and this is KR Compared. Oh, I threw her that time. Whatever. That's fine. And we're back with part four mm -hmm. of what are we doing, Katie? The Truly Tournament of the Spectacular Seltzer Shenanigans Off. This gets longer every time we do it this. Does. It's gonna it's gonna be before it's gonna, it's gonna be a Whatever. block of text. It's just gonna be another kind of truly tasting. It, we we're slowly working our way through truly. Actually we're doing it quite quickly at this point, I think. I We've think got so. most of the truly's taken care of. If you want to learn more about truly in general, you can go back to our first episode of the tournament of truliness up there. You can find it. We've also got two other episodes besides that, which you can check and we'll make a separate play playlist for as well but eventually we will be, we'll be moving good god i can't talk today but we will be we you know we do these tongue twisters right before we start filming to make sure we blah, 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 can talk and i didn't do enough apparently we will be moving on to a lot of other seltzers and then comparing some of the best seltzers now there's so many of them so if you have a salsa that you want us to try as part of this tournament or whatever you want to call it uh please let us know in the comments down below don't forget to like subscribe and punch that notification bell i'm so violent Tickle that notification no, don't bell. Do that. She does not like to no. tickle the notification bell. Today we have we've had these before, I think. Previously. Maybe? I feel like a while ago. So it's getting to be summer, so we're looking at seltzers. What do we have? You have to Citrus punch. Well, but it's it's punch. What? It's the punch box. Yeah. Right? Truly punch. Uh, that's the thing. Oh. And then within the punch box, we have what? Which is why I had to punch a notification bell. It's punching. Oh, but you did. That was just. That was totally no, planned. That was circumstantial. <laughs> circumstantial. <laughs> it will hold no water in court. No. Um. So we have the citrus punch, berry punch, tropical punch, and fruit punch. What's the different? Well, I was thinking, what's <laughs> the difference that, what... between fruit punch and tropical punch? Well, tropical I assume is like citrusy, pineapples, mango. I mean, it's got a picture of a pineapple here. Okay. And I mean, this one so the fruit punch like shows cherry. apple, orange, and cherry. Okay. Berry just shows what is it? Raspberry, blueberry, strawberry. Mm -hmm. And our citrus punch is. It looks like a grapefruit. It does. It does actually look like a grapefruit. grapefruit I'm not lime, a fan of grapefruit. And lemon. Probably a little bit of lemon. So we will try these. I'm actually kind of curious. So this, I, I find that the stuff that the Trulies, we've, we've, uh, the, one of our last episodes, or I guess the episode just before this, you'll see that we've looked at the generic flavors. Citrus, what was it? Citrus? I it was I like remember. citrus squeeze or And this is what like came in their party pack and it seemed like more uh, simple flavors, just the one flavor. Mm -hmm. I find that when you take that flavor and you mix it with a secondary flavor, it adds a little bit more nuance and we tend to enjoy it a lot more. So a lot of the truly lemonades, the truly punches, I think are generally going to be better. But we'll see. And there's always the opportunity to compare, say, citrus punch versus their citrus, which we actually still have. So we could always compare those two to see how that does. Okay. And then how are we going to to do these? What do, what flavors do you think are most similar? I guess it really doesn't matter. Do you have, do you have a, a thing in mind for how you want to do it? No. All right, then we're just going to grab two in just a moment and just start drinking. This should be a nice quick episode um, because we're going to be avoiding a lot of the unnecessary fun facts because we're not going to be repeating ourselves. Go check them out up there. All right. Oh, you, are you going to do it? You're going to check it out? Yeah. You said all right, like you're going to be the one to do it. Punch and citrus punch. I have low expectations of citrus punch having tried citrus from the party pack that, that truly well, offers. I mean, you also... Don't, like, don't grapefruit. like grapefruit. I despise so. grapefruit. Actually, it's disgusting. It's vile. Why? It's just so bitter and nasty. But, that, but there are people that like you know will have a half a grapefruit and then they'll put a little bit of like sugar on it and I guess it counterbalances you. Know. No. Okay. No, and I know it's good for you. It's supposed to be really good for you. But... Yeah, except if you have certain cholesterol medications, you can't have grapefruit. Oh. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Yeah. Weird. It like interacts That's the thing poorly. I'm considering talking about with my doctor yeah. tomorrow. Not that I want to go on cholesterol medication, but that's another issue. Statins come with their own problem. Anyway, <laughs> let's start with pot potentially the worst. I don't actually know. I'm being pessimistic about this. All right, citrus punch. I mean, it smells like it smells like citrus. That smells better than the than the uh, party pack. Mm -hmm. I agree. 
is a hint, just a hint of grapefruit. But it's so minor that it doesn't actually bother I think bother that's me. just the little bit more of the bitterness in there. Yeah, it could just be that. Okay. You know, I mean, it's not tasty. Bad. It's, um, you know, if you don't like citrus, don't, don't get that one. <laughs> um, I mean, you know what? Excellent advice. It, it's a lot sweeter than if you were to just have the citrus squeeze version that they have, which it just leaned a little too too bitter and it was also muddled. That's true. Yeah. This has a distinct citrus flavor. I like it. It's not bad, actually. It's 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 quite palatable. Now we're moving on to berry punch, which I'm curious how that differs from fruit punch. Mmm. That one's smoother, sweeter. Mm. No? It it's reminding me of some kind of a candy, and I don't. Yeah. I don't that, know what kind. That seems to happen a lot with you. With no, these, I know that, but I'm trying to equate it with like a candy from my childhood, and I can't. Jolly Ranchers. No. Well, I don't think so. Gum. No. Reese's. No. There's a lot of candies. Oh. I mean, I, I, I don't know. I was thinking maybe a blow pop, but I don't think so. I don't think that's it. It doesn't matter. Okay. Do we have our Preference for these one or the other. We'll just do rankings right now. I think I like the citrus a little bit more. Damn. There it is. Do you agree? You know what? Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. I'm actually okay with that. Yeah. Actually, there's I mean, a little the more nuance nice. in this. It's just, it, it, it seems a lot sweeter than the citrus. Yeah, no, I agree. Okay. We're going to dive right into these next ones. Fruit punch. Okay. It smells like, actually smells like high C. Oh, really? I think so. No? You disagree? No, I, it's been a very long time you know you since can, I've had a high C, so... You can dive right into that set, too. You oh, okay. You got a second sniffer. Sorry. <laughs> huh. Oh. I don't know how I feel about it. It's good, but I don't know... It is very much... It is like a Capri Sun or a high C. I wouldn't go so far as a Capri Sun. I feel like Capri Sun's a You thought those were higher tier? Oh, Capri Sun? Oh, yeah. You definitely prefer Capri Suns to, to I see. How do you feel? No? Maybe? It's not bad. I I still think I'd put it in between I the knew citrus you were going and okay. the berry. So fruit punch between citrus and berry. Here we go. Last. So that means that as far as the competition continuing, these guys are going to be out of the game. But tropical punch. Now this... Do we think it can taste like Hawaiian punch? This one? No way. This can't taste like Hawaiian punch. They already have Hawaiian punch. Oh, that smells good. Oh, is like, that the fruit punch? Yeah. The... That's what that was. Um, I'm a little bit of pineapple, and for some reason I got socks. <laughs> what do you mean? What kind of socks are you I don't smelling? know. There's like, again, like, so last time we did something like this, I think I smelled like, oh, it smells, it smells sweaty. And it could just be that we just came back from the store. We had to go for a walk. And I could just be smelling myself no, sweaty. I don't think so. It smells like sweat and fruit. <laughs> <laughs> sweat and pineapples. No, I... Mm. Go ahead. <laughs> Is it sweaty pineapples? No. It's like, um... What is that? Hold on. It's almost like... Hold on. Am I having a stroke? Because <laughs> I swear to God I taste onion. No, they have something in there. Whatever. Oh, that's supposed to be a passion fruit. That's what that's supposed to be. Okay, so it's does supposed passion fruit taste be... like onion? Because I don't think so. No. The hell am I tasting? I don't know. I mean, it's supposed to be pineapple, watermelon, and then like passion fruit from what we can tell. But what the packaging. picture is. So if that's any indication of what this thing actually tastes like. No, I get the sourness from the passion fruit. Okay. Or like a, a pineapple sour... is leaning sweeter than in some of the other iterations. Maybe don't take my word for it on any of the flavorings for this episode because apparently I don't know what anything smells or tastes like. This tastes really weird to me. Do I have COVID? No. You could still taste. That is weird. Or oh, like a. Are you getting like a dip so, for like so a when you, So when you say that it tastes like an onion, are you equating that to like a sense of like a sharpness in the taste? Maybe. I don't. I don't know. Like I just I imagine biting into a red onion with also pineapple. It's not a. It, oddly enough, it's still not bad. 
No, what, but is it more savory to you? Maybe, I guess. Hmm. I don't know. I think I'm trying to pinpoint what exactly that is because I because I know that's. I ridiculous. think it's the passion I, fruit. I know it's. I know there's no onion in this. Did that? That would be. That would be terrible. If there is actually onion in this home, please let me know. I'm actually super curious to truly like screw it up, mm -hmm. and that'd be hilarious. Um, but I mean, I know that. Like, I know that that's not what that is. I just I can't quite put to words what I'm tasting. Hmm. I don't know. So that's how strange. would you rank it? Yeah, I agree. Do you actually? I agree. Okay. Yeah. Citrus punch. Fruit punch. Moving on. Citrus punch is a little surprising to have it there. Right? Yeah. Especially because the citrus squeeze was... Terrible. Eh. Yeah, pretty terrible. So normally I'd grab the citrus squeeze, which I have over there, crack it open, and uh, give it... Actually, I think we still have some in the fridge. Opened. Anyway, um, but we tried this just yesterday because we're shooting some of these episodes back to back. And I, I, I still sits on my tongue. I don't need to taste a new one. We're good. <laughs> Excuse me. Okay. Any other final thoughts? Actually, we might just wrap this up right here. We don't even need to do another cut. No more commercials. No. Keep this short. Drink, drink responsibly. Tell us if there's a different truly that you'd like us to try. Or we have we have two trulies coming unruly. up. We have truly unruly coming up, which is their slightly harder alcohol. Mm -hmm. There's another one too. There's like a margarita one. Oh, there's or a margarita something. one. That could be pretty something good. Something like that. So. And then we'll move on to who knows what. There's what uh, Bud Light. There's of course White Claw. Yeah. A few others, um, flaming flamingos. I forget what it was called. Flaming something fire. Flaming swords, not that's a. Is that a video game? Thing? Flaming swords. Yeah. I mean, sometimes video games have swords that run fire, but that's yeah. okay. more of a kind of badass aesthetic than anything. Okay. Else. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and you can find us at Kara Compares on Instagram and at rjpfilms.com forward slash care compares there you go all right thank you again for watching and we hope to see you next time i'm rob and i'm katie take care we don't see them right i mean it's more like a turn of phrase what they see us we don't see them so i'm just saying it's a turn of phrase like we don't see them no no we're like, we'll but see we you would if time. you comment if you do it's true if you do comment we can, mm. yeah work around <laughs> <laughs>